this video, I thought I'd share my experience with Solar Gain. I'll be straight up front, I had a really positive experience with Solar Gain and I highly, highly, highly recommend them. That's the bottom line. So there were three companies that I ended up with deciding upon to get quotes for my solar panels. I, I've always wanted solar panels. I thought they'd be, you know, it makes sense in terms of an investment. First one was AGL. AGL is our current provider and continues to be our energy provider and they do solar panels as well. The second one that I was investigating was a company called Keen To Be Green. I think they're based down on the south side or the Gold Coast or something, but they came highly recommended. And the third company is Solar Gain. And Solar Gain, I think they have a depot or something in Deception Bay just up the road from where I live. So there were the three I tried. So let me go through from the bad to the good. AGL, I'm pretty sure I was speaking to someone in Sri Lanka. Um, not a very good experience. Yes, they do provide the highest feed-in tariff if you do decide to go with them, and that's the originally originally why I went with uh, was trying to get them to do a quote. I was ready to accept the quote, and they just weren't communicating. And I've been online. I've read a whole bunch of forums and and uh, review sites and stuff, and there is a few people that were talking about their really bad communication, especially with this problem. So, AGL lack of communication cut them last minute keen to be green i would say probably the best communicating company and it was a touch and go with who i was going to go with uh very good service answered all my questions great service uh i can't remember the guy's name i think it was daniel what this guy knew everything explained everything all my questions i had i had multiple questions i was really very keen to go with keen to be green in the end uh look it it literally came down to the fact that uh, it just came down to price. I, I couldn't justify the extra $4,000 for King to be green install over solar gain. But yeah, look, I think if you definitely are looking to get some solar up here in Queensland on the Gold Coast or Brizzy or Sunny Coast, then definitely try King to be green. Uh, very knowledgeable, great service. I think I was, um, yeah. Yeah, very, very, very impressed. So I'm sorry, actually, I'm really sorry to Keen to be green. If you're watching this, you guys were amazing. I, uh, yeah, I was very close to uh, having you install my system. What ended up happening is Solar Gain. I just sent them an email, and it was around Christmas time. And the oh, I've forgotten the um, salesperson's name, but he emailed me back straight away. I sent through all my information to him, and he emailed me back right near Christmas time, which was amazing service as well. He kind of said all the right things and again answered more of my questions so we ended up going with solar gain and so yeah we ended up installing i think it's about a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system it was one of their packages and again after many many questions uh you know you hear really good things about the different inverters um some of the name brand ones and i ended up going with huawei which turns out is to it's kind of like a middle range type of a uh, inverter i couldn't quite see the extra expense of uh of upgrading to one of those european ones panels we've ended up with um i can't even remember the name of them but again in terms of where they sit for quality versus warranty versus uh performance and ended up getting the panels that look i don't <laughs> this looking at the marketing material is really confusing i don't care what they look like I just wanted them to be working really well and that was it. One of the reasons I didn't choose Solar Game was their install time was really quick, much quicker than Keen to be Green and definitely quicker than AGL. So that was one of the deciding factors. They I think it was two weeks, two, three weeks from the phone call. So that was very impressive and a bit of a deciding factor. The fact that it's a local company up here in uh, Deception Bay was another factor. So it's good that when you've got someone local, I, I like to use local if possible, and especially when they're price competitive. They have the install, everything went great. Um, had a really awesome installation guy. Um, you know, he had his lappy, and they were here the whole day. It was a super hot day, and oh, look, uh, kudos to them because they worked really hard in that heat. I, I was like a little bit concerned, like often water a couple of times, <laughs> like they had their own water. But uh, yeah, look, they, um, they did a great job. Everything went well. 
I think they cracked one tile. Um, if you are going to get solar panels, they will, they, they kind of don't mention it until it's a little bit too late, but you're supposed to have, if you've got a tiled roof, you're supposed to have a few spare tiles on hand, just in case. I tried to source some of these tiles and they don't, they don't really exist anymore. This house is a 2010 build, so it's a little bit older now and uh, they don't have any tiles of this particular type. They don't have them at Bunnings, they don't have a Stratco, they don't have them and nowhere, nowhere local anyway. I was a little bit disappointed I couldn't find any. They ended up cracking one. They've put it into a separate place where it's not going to cause any problems, so I wasn't too concerned. I knew the tiles were in good condition anyway. The capping is still really good on my roof, so all good. So they turned up at around 7 o'clock, I think, in the morning, 7, 8 o'clock, and they left at about 4 in the afternoon. Speaking to the installer, they didn't have any issues. Everything went according to plan. Yeah, look, highly, highly recommend solar again. It was, I had a very, very positive experience. Hello, how's it been going? So I had a concern about the way that the inverter was showing its data in the first few days, and it kind of had these peaks. I'll show you a picture there. It kind of, it kind of had these little peaks, and then I was a bit confused. Why is it, is it, is it clouds? But there weren't clouds, and, uh, and I think what's going on is the inverter saving itself, okay? It's sort of hitting maximum power, and it's maybe overheating or... You know, there's too much too much coming through so it kind of limits itself it does a little drip um little drop and then it comes back up and uh that's most days is a similar sort of pattern look i'm happy i'm getting around 30 kilowatts on a nice sunny day so that's cool happy with that the interface is very basic um but you know that, that, again that's one of those things that um, people were saying in terms of the interface for the better inverters but like, what, I, I don't think i need anything else it's telling me how much it's making it's showing me the current output. Uh, it's in a mobile app with the Huawei. After seeing those peaks on the graph, I spoke to the lady at the service center and she remotely, I think they're in WA, uh, remotely adjusted a few of the settings and it's been great. Look, that's about it in terms of my current experience. So I've got something coming soon. I think some of you might have worked out what's what's happening um, but um, I've got something coming and I've got a few bits and pieces that I'm going to be adding to this system um, so stay tuned for those videos uh, and look I'm going to keep you informed with how things are progressing with this um, with, with my solar panels and my experience with them but uh, yeah look solar gain if you're here in Queensland give them a call I'm not sure if they're Australia wide they might be but if you're here in Queensland definitely do it they they have been excellent that's it everybody if you haven't subscribed buttons down there apart from that I'll see you in the next video